Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, the world out there. Today we are going to take a look at Gemini's week ahead for May 24th through the 31st. I was being called to do something a little different in this reading, so we are going to start with the Oracle of the Shapeshifter deck um, to get an overview message. Then we are going to get an, a little bit deeper message with the Fairy Tarot, and then I'll pull out a traditional deck, clarify everything up. I also pull Oracle cards at the end of every message. If it's something you guys are interested in, you are more than welcome in joining. Please keep in mind, guys, that the messages here on YouTube are general. They are not going to resonate every time with every person. You are more than welcome to check other signs. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title resonating, there's most likely going to be something in the message for you. For more information on how to book a personal reading, the energy cleanse kits that I offer, how to get entered into the drawing that I do here every month for free personal readings, it's all linked below in the description box. And Gemini, if you like how I vibe, you like how I interpret the cards, you are more than welcome to subscribe. Everyone is welcome, and it does help set your intentions for future messages. So Gemini, let's see what we can see for May 24th through the 31st. Please and thank you, Spirit. Messages for Gemini coming through May 24th through the 31st. Please and thank you. So Gemini, Deep Dark Sea Mermaid, find solutions in the unknown places in the darkness. Little wolf girl, it is all right to be alone. Butterflies in gloom. After sadness, happiness and hope return. And the golden phoenix, something you thought finished bursts back into your life. I feel like Gemini, you have been on a healing journey. I feel like you have been doing soul searching, working on yourself, clearing out things that no longer serve, all that stuff. But I feel like there's been a part of you that you've been trying to avoid in healing, not, not because you don't want to, but because you're afraid that it's going to hurt. Maybe there's certain things, certain people that you might have to converse with that may not be easy to talk about those things, um, such as family matters, you know, or maybe there's some digging in your past that you fear because of the pain, the anguish that is going to come along with that. Getting a sense here, Gemini, that you're going to have to deal with this sooner than later. And I feel like what the cards are saying here is there's going to be an opportunity to handle this situation coming within the next week or so, okay? And the reason why I say that is because butterflies in gloom, this card represents a deep hurt, a deep sadness, okay? Life-changing pain. And because of, because of how deep this pain is, you've kind of hidden away from this change for a long time. Maybe not, not really focusing on that, covering it up or detouring from that hurt, that pain. I feel like you're being called to look at that going to hurt it's going to be painful to work through that but after you work through that pain that anguish it's going to open you up in a different way in a different manner it's gonna kind of soften you 
And I get that from the Golden Phoenix. This card talks about rebirth, transformation, being softened after a hard shell has been cracked. I do feel like right now you're being called here to kind of be alone to do this inner work because it's not going to be easy. So let's take a look and see what the fairy tarot is going to say for you guys coming out here. Okay. I do feel like this is going to be a challenge um, for some of you. So let's see here for Gemini. May 24th through the 31st. What does Gemini need to see? I do see something coming back into your life, but it's going to return after this healing process. Let's take a look. Most important message here for Gemini spirit. What does Gemini need to see here? May 24th through the 31st. Prince of Winter, Two of Spring, Six of Winter, and the Dreamer. Prince of Winter is the Knight of Swords. The Two of Spring is the Two of Wands. Six of Winter is the Six of Swords. And the Dreamer is the Fool. I feel like with the Prince of Winter, this change is going to happen opportunity the situation is going to come in unexpectedly suddenly it's going to present itself and you're going to have a decision to make here with the two of wands you're going to progress or stay the same i do feel like you are headed in a positive new direction you are headed in the right direction um away from this dilemma but again, there's that, um, there's that healing that's going to need to take, to take place. Okay. This is probably something along the lines of childhood trauma. Okay. Something that happened in your past, whether this is from a parent child relationship, or maybe this was one of your first relationships. I do feel like whatever it is that you are experiencing right now um if you're being triggered by certain people or certain situations pay attention to that because it's it's calling your attention to take a look at that area of your life you know whether you're getting anxiety um because of a certain situation that keeps occurring in your life Maybe your anxiety is coming from a career change or a relationship change. Whatever's triggering you, there's something that's calling your attention. And I feel like this Gemini is going to happen very suddenly as well. Okay, so let's take a look here. The tarot for May 24th through the 31st. What does Gemini need to see? Please and thank you. All right, Gemini. I'm going to get the cards out and then we're going to talk about it, okay? So we have the Eight of Wands with the Ten of Cups. Then we have the Four of Wands here with the Two of Swords. So 
Seven of Swords with the Death card. Five of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. And then the Ten of Wands to the Ace of Pentacles. There's definitely a transformation that's taking place. And this is po very possibly internally. But I feel like it's also within this dynamic, within this relationship that's coming to the forefront here in this message. Feel like you've been talking, talking, talking about a family situation, a family dynamic, a soulmate connection, till you are blue in the face. I feel like by doing so, you've caused some resistance here, Gemini, with this person. This person kind of, they don't want to hear you out. I feel like maybe they think that you talk too much or they never get the message fully. They never completely understand this message. I feel like they're starting to become very guarded, maybe even trying to avoid confrontation with you, okay? And I feel like this is, this is what's causing this resistance as well as this change, okay? Now I'm not saying, I'm not discrediting Gemini that there's a situation obviously that's been taken place within this dynamic that's caused this to seemingly end, okay? But with the death card, this is like death to rebirth. It's kind of like the golden phoenix where it's a phoenix rising from the ashes, okay? Now, I will say this, I do feel like there is some sadness that you've been going through, and I feel like this sadness isn't over. There's a need to kind of purge this energy from this relationship, and I feel like you are going to need to take a step back from this dynamic for a little bit and focus on this healing, whatever past trauma that you're healing from I feel like there's a need to completely heal that and you may even have a conversation with this person at some point if the opportunity arises now don't make a point to reach out and say I'm doing this big change and all this stuff let things play out if the conversation presents itself, then say, yeah, I've been making some changes. There's been a lot of things I've discovered about myself that I needed healing from. But don't, don't make a point to reach out to say that, okay? I do feel like there is potential within this dynamic, within this relationship that's coming up here. I do feel that the Eight of Cups is coming out in reverse. This person is going to come back, but it's going to be after significant change you're it's like this this relationship is being recalibrated and so when you guys come back together Gemini you're not going to be able to approach this relationship the same as before you're going to have to have a different approach that's why it's very pertinent for this change to occur first if you if if you haven't done this inner healing work, healing this childhood trauma, doing some shadow work, reaching within you to really take a look at what's triggering you and why. If you haven't changed any of that inner conflict, you're still going to be showing up the same in this relationship. Even if at first you kind of take a step back and allow this to flow or whatever, Eventually, when things get tough, you're going to react the same way. The only way that it's going to change is if you change. There's a little bit of a need for acceptance here, Gemini, because I feel like, yes, this person may have walked away or there was definitely an ending between the two of you and there's been some harsh things that have been said, but I feel like it's gone both ways. It's not just one or the other person. 
And so basically what the strength card to me is acceptance. It's accepting those perceived flaws, accepting the part that you played in this situation so that there is movement forward. I will say this, whatever you're healing from is going to be very heavy. Okay. It's going to be, and I'm getting a sense that this is something from childhood for most of you, either a child, uh, one of your first relationships or something from your parents that's needing to heal. We have the strength card. We have the five of pentacles. We have the 10 of wands. This is something that's very deep, very heavy. You're going to need to take some time by yourself to heal these wounds. It's not something that I would suggest being in a partnership at all with, even if you were in a long standing relationship, having a conversation with that person that you are doing some deep healing work and sometimes you may need some alone time is going to help not break down that relationship in this process. Things are coming to a completion here, Gemini, and I do feel like this person is going to come back around. Okay. I do feel like there is going to be a time where you guys come back together. Okay, work this out. But you're going to need to heal yourself first before this happens. You're going to need to have to dig within and do that deep healing work before you're going to be able to come back into this union. I would say anywhere from three to six months. Four to six months. At least. Okay, let's get a few cards out here for your advice, Gem. Most important message here for Gemini spirit. Just the advice for Gemini moving forward, please and thank you. I am going to do an extended version to this reading, guys. In the extended version, we'll take a look into what are the next steps moving forward and why. Also take a look into that potential outcome if the advice is followed. I'll pull out the Archangel cards for the blessing. I'll pull out the Soul Truth deck for the weekly lesson. If that's something you guys are interested in, the link will be below in the description box. Gemini, it's a family, family issue. Okay, we got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. This is a family conflict that's needing healed specifically 10 of pentacles in reverse you can look it up you can google it the 10 of pentacles in reverse the typical meaning is a family conflict now this is what has you tied this is what has you trapped in this cycle and i feel like whether you continue to go through the cycle with this person or get out of this dynamic and move into another relationship until this family conflict is healed, you will always go through the same issue. I really feel like there is a need to dig deep within your past. Review and release. This two of wands is always like the crossroad card, but it's also reviewing what you've gone through and really healing from that process. Some of you may very well need counseling to do this healing process. Others of you, I feel like if you go within, do some shadow work, reviewing and releasing any pain, any negative harmful feelings. When you go to counseling, that's basically what they do over a period of time in specific steps. But if you do this on your own, just taking some time, maybe making a timeline of this relationship and going through that timeline and writing down the positive things that have happened in this dynamic and also the negative things that have happened within this dynamic. Okay. And really taking a look at the negative situations, what had played out in that, in that moment. 
what triggered you or this person to react or act that way? What steps could you maybe have taken to have a different outcome? The key here, Gemini, is awareness of what's going on because that's going to be the make or break moment. You know, if you're given that two or three extra seconds to contemplate your reaction, it's all about being aware why the things are happening the way they are. This person, I feel like, is very guarded towards this dynamic and get the sense that the reason why this keeps playing out the way that it does is this family conflict that's holding you back, okay? So take some time. Take some time and really dig deep within yourself. Um, reviewing and releasing. And then also another little tip after you go through all those negative situations, make sure you review the positive as well. Then take some time for yourself, do some self care, right? So hot bath, maybe aromatherapy, just doing something that brings happiness into your life for even just a half hour. You know, a little slice of heaven, if you will, to bring positivity back into your life. Because when we go through any review and release process, it can be a little daunting. So we want to always boost our energy levels, the serotonin in our brain to make us happy again. So let's take a look with the soul journey here Gemini. If you guys found this message is helpful, that it was resonating, please give it a thumbs up. All the love and support is very much appreciated and does help with the growth of the channel, getting the messages out there. Oh. So... The soul journey that's coming out for you, Jen, is pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. You need to take time to honor and acknowledge who you are and what your soul has accomplished with your life this far. You should look at your past soul choices and be mindful of how, through your positive actions, compassion, and understanding, you have made a better life for yourself and others. How have you changed the world in some little way? How have you shared insight with others? Reflect on what you have mastered. You should never underappreciate or underestimate yourself or your accomplishments. Now is the time for you to remember how brave you are, have been throughout your journey. Celebration is required. Humans tend to spend too much of their energy and time on negative emotions or what they have not done. This card signifies that you should take rightful ownership of who you are and how you have shared your unique light with the world. It may also be a perfect time for you to look around and acknowledge those other souls who have also accomplished many great things and who need to be reminded of them. Beautiful, beautiful. So, Gemini, in this tough, this tough time for you, this heavy time, right? Take some time to appreciate yourself. Um, look at how far you've come, right? You may still have a little bit of ways to go to make it where you want to be, but look at how far you've come. Let's get a power thought card for you. 
the point of power is always in the present moment. The past is over and done and has no power over me. I can begin to be free in this moment. Today's thoughts create my future. I am in charge. I now take my own power back. I am safe and I am free. Beautiful Gemini, beautiful. So Gemini, that is the message I have coming out for you guys for this week. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. Again, if you want to get in on the extended version, link is below. Otherwise, thank you guys again so much, and I look forward to seeing you beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.